Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing 15 must-have mods for The Sims 4. I recommend all of these mods. They're so helpful for gameplay and also just the aesthetic of your game. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start off and create a sim for some smaller ones. The first one is the CC Wrench Override Replacement. I was so sick of the blue wrench and I love like just the little white CC in the corner. Um, this is obviously for cast and build mode. This honestly just makes everything a lot cuter and it's just aesthetically pleasing looking at it, honestly. This mod is definitely really small, but it makes a huge difference for me personally. Okay, the next mod that we have is also a create a sim. We have the more cast traits. This mod gives you five cast traits to be able to choose from, which honestly I absolutely love. It gives my sim a lot more personality, especially. This mod gives every age in The Sims 4 more traits. It doesn't work for infants though, which personally I don't mind because the infant traits are so annoying and I don't need two of them. Another create a sim mod is 100 cast traits. I absolutely love this. It gives my sims 10 times more personality than they already had. There's a whole bunch of traits in the emotional section. I don't think there's any in here. And then in the social one, there's also a lot more too. These three traits are from the game, but she has optimistic and likable, which I love having extra traits. The Sim gave us such boring ones and like I was just so sick of them. So this definitely makes it a lot more fun. Because my Sim's optimistic, um, she's feeling hopeful and she's feeling optimistic, which I love this feature. It's definitely really cool. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do this mod now. Um, basically, all my font is different for the game, like in every pie menu, in the gallery, wherever, even on the startup menu when you're getting into the game. This is the Sims 4 font changer. There's two versions to choose from, Sims 1 and 2. I'm pretty sure this is Sims 2, I'm not sure. They both look identical to me. But basically, this just changes all of the normal Sims 4 fonts to either Sims 1 or Sims 2, and I love the way it looks. It's just, it's so nice to look at. Definitely makes me feel like a bit cleaner while I'm playing, just, it hits the brain, right, okay? That's what it does for me. Okay, this next mod is the Smart Mirror, which I know everybody loves. This mirror is so freaking cool, and I am literally obsessed with it. You can honestly do quite a few things with this mirror. You can adjust the lighting, you can play music, um, you can order stuff, you can ask for a joke, play trivia, or even yell at. It's so cool, and it's so unique, and I literally love it. On the download page for this mirror, it comes with a bathroom set, I'm pretty sure. You can go ahead and unzip it and honestly just download the mirror, that's literally what I did. But I've seen a lot of people struggle on how to actually use the mirror itself. Basically, you're going to want to get the simple reflections mirror and just place it anywhere, whatever. Okay, if you go on the search bar, you're just going to type mirror smart and then the mirror smart interface will come up. And this is what you need to actually get the mirror to be what it is. So right now, if I just go ahead and delete this, now my mirror's plain. And then if I place this on top, now it'll function just like the smart mirror. I've seen a lot of people having trouble with that on the download page, so I really wanted to show you guys that that's how it works. Just because I know a lot of people might actually download this because this is definitely a really cool feature and it's so pretty. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how it actually works in your game. Okay, the next mod that we have is the functional alarm clock for The Sims 4. I am obsessed with this, especially for big households when I have to get my Sims up for school or work, but I can't play them at the same time. This is such a cool feature. I will link the download in the description and the recolors just because the original one is kind of like an ugly wood um, and these ones are definitely a lot prettier. Basically, you're just going to go ahead and click it, go on sunrise, um, create an alarm, and right now it's 10.56, so I'm just going to test this out and have her wake up. Let's do 11 p.m. and we'll do 11.10, and you can do a weekly schedule, disable, or remove. We're going to go ahead and press OK. We're going to have her sleep until alarm rings. And now her alarm has gone off. I love the sound. It's kind of annoying, but it's kind of so nostalgic. I don't know how to explain it. Your sim will wake up and turn it off. And there you go. That is so cool. I love that so much for big families. It is so helpful. Okay, my sim is currently asleep right now and there are no like the ZZZs coming from her while she's sleeping. This 
one of my favorite mods because I just hate having it. It's just, it's not pleasing to look at. So this is the Nosy Z mod. Um, basically while your sim sleeps, you won't have that annoying feature. Um, say you want to like take a picture or whatever, I don't know, but they won't be there. It's super small, but honestly, I love it for gameplay. It just looks a lot prettier personally. Okay, my sim's currently talking to the mirror, but um, this next mod is Kits Functional. Absolutely love this because the kits should have been functional to begin with, and the fact that they're not makes me so upset. Um, for the bathroom clutter kit, these two appliances are functional, the hair dryer and the face cream. Um, you can just go ahead and press use and there's a whole animation and it just looks so pretty. She's not looking in the mirror like I'd want her to, but it's such a cool feature and I absolutely love it. For the hair dryer, you can just go ahead and hit use and your sim will literally just blow dry their hair. It is so freaking cool. I love that. Okay, now if we come out here, this is the, what was this kit called? Something every day. I have no idea. I don't know what the kit was called, but basically these items are now all functional. You can get them in the build mode. You can also go ahead and just um, grab this from build mode and then you can actually purchase the mat and the kettlebell. Sorry, that totally went over my head. But basically you can go ahead and just tap on the exercise mat. You can do bicycle crunch, burpee, jumping jacks, pistol squat, or a random workout. We're gonna have her do a random workout. She didn't change into active wear, but you know what? She looks great doing what she's doing. That is so funny. Um, you can also go ahead and tap the kettlebell and press workout, and your sim will also go ahead and use that as well. This one's cool. This looks so cool and honestly so realistic. You can also tap on the water bottle. You can go ahead and put it in your inventory first. Actually, I completely forgot. And then if you go in your inventory, you can actually drink the protein shake and it's such a cool animation like that looks great this mod definitely one of my favorites i love the fact that these can actually become functional because the sims honestly could not provide that for us okay for the next mod whenever you're planning an event you can't find people you can only have 20 sims and the events are so short basically this mod lets you have a max of 200 guests and you get to see literally everybody in your world, like in your Sims game, and you can invite whoever you want. The event will also go, I'm not sure how long, I want to say like five Sim hours, but I'm not sure. This is definitely a must-have because I hate just having 20 Sims. And sometimes when I'm like doing kid events, I can't actually invite my Sims, like my child Sims friends for some reason because like I don't know them. But with this mod, anything's possible, and you can have 200 guests. That's crazy. I absolutely love this mod. Okay, for this next mod, it is the sit still mod. Absolutely need, because my sims just get out of their chairs when I don't want them to, or when I'm trying to take a cute picture, they just get up and leave when I don't want them to. Like she- why is my cat floating on the stove? Basically, you can go ahead and tap on a chair, and you can do steady sit, and she will not leave until you say so. I'm pretty sure if you have multiple sims over, you can actually do this as like a group activity so they're all sitting still. Um, don't take my word for it though, I've only ever done this with one sim because I like single households, but you can go ahead and try that. I'm pretty sure it does work for multiple sims as well. It's definitely a cool feature, absolutely love this mod and I definitely recommend it. Okay, this next mod is the Home Barista. I absolutely love this. It is so cute. Um, basically, you'll get this object for build mode. You can go ahead and tap it and make coffee. And you get all of these cute things. Absolutely love, like, especially de the designs. But it's just, like, a cute little feature for, like, gameplay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a latte to show you guys what it looks like. And she's gonna go ahead and make a latte. That is so cool. I love that. Is she sick or something? What is wrong with her? What are you doing? What? Why do you look like that? Oh, she is sick. Okay, one sec. Let's fix that. Thank you. That's great. Unfortunately, she drank the drink, so I couldn't show you what it actually looked like. But they have, like, really cool designs. Definitely love. I think you can download extra ones for this mod. I have no idea, though. Don't take my word for it. When I downloaded this, I'm pretty sure I only seen this one. But in my head somewhere, I feel like that's a thing. But I don't know. It's definitely a cool mod, and I absolutely love it. Okay, for this next mod, it is an override mod, which I love, obviously. As you can see, my kitchen appliances are all freaking pink. 
absolutely love don't mind her cooking skill by the way she cannot cook this is so cute it is so cool i am just in love with it um this mod overrides a lot of the kitchen utensils um and you can either do pink or blue i'm pretty sure okay this is also another mod i guess it's just a little extra one for this one this is a um cooking board override as well which i'll leave these two links together in the description Basically, there's two to choose from, but I love this just plain rectangle one. Um, it's so cute and definitely a lot better than what EA originally gave us. I want to see more utensils. I'm not sure if I will. Oh, yeah, look. You can see, like, her knife's pink. That is so cute. I love that. That is so cool. Basically, this just overrides your cooking utensils. Like, as you can see, your little spatula is pink as well. Um, and the cutting board as well. Obviously, that's super cool, too. Okay, for this next mod, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of the new feature from Snowy Escape where you can take your shoes off indoors or you can wear slippers. Um, basically, the animation for that is literally a tornado around your sim's feet, which I guess it's fine, but it's not realistic. So with this mod, it removes the animation and gives you something a little bit more realistic. So we're going to go ahead and remove shoes indoors. And this is the animation it will be if you download this afterwards, which definitely a lot more realistic than the tornado wait my cat is running away why and she was just about to go praise her too okay if you guys have vintage glamour i'm pretty sure it's called that stuff pack this is definitely for you this is a custom vanity set but basically you can only do like those features like um freshen up your appearance i think it is or apply makeup on a vanity with this mod, you can go ahead and just grab a desk. We'll just grab, let's just grab this one. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to place this outside. But we're going to go ahead and just plop a random chair. If we go back into live mode, your desk can now be used as a vanity. I love this because the vanities from the stuff pack are honestly kind of ugly. And with this, you can get a cute desk and a mirror and do all of the same things that you normally would on a vanity. Um, it's definitely a cool feature. We can go ahead and apply. Let's add some magenta eyes and red lips. And now she's just out here applying her makeup like I guess she normally would. I love this. It's super cool because this desk is honestly really cute and I would totally use this as a vanity in real life. It's definitely a must have and I totally recommend this as well. Okay, for the next mod and the last, it is by yours truly. Um, I worked really hard on this mod and honestly people have been downloading it like crazy and I am so beyond thankful for that. Basically, I created an aspiration for The Sims 4. It is the stay-at-home parent aspiration. Um, it is so cool. Like, I am honestly so proud of myself for this. I worked so hard on it. You can go ahead and read this if you want. Um, it's super cool. I love this. I made it for my personal sims especially. I know that there are aspirations out there that people have made. But this isn't just, like, about, like, taking care of your sims' children. It's kind of about you know, working at home and just doing something, like, nice for the family other than just, like, taking care of the kids, I guess. The first tier is the best job ever. Become a parent, reach level four cooking skill, cook something ten times, clean up something ten times. The second tier is working hard. Um, you do need the parenthood pack for this aspiration for the parenting skill, but reach level four parenting and handiness, pay your bills four times, which honestly is so realistic. Uh, repair something five times then we have super parent have a baby drink coffee five times which again super realistic for a stay-at-home parent cook 10 gourmet meals become happy 35 times because that is very important in real life um the best parent ever order pizza five times because i love when my mom would order pizza for me absolutely amazing uh potty train your toddler five times max the cooking and parenting skill this is the first mod I've ever made, so if you experience any problems with it, please let me know so I can, like, make adjustments for you guys. Um, but I am so incredibly thankful for all of you guys' support on this, especially. Anyways, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more mod videos, definitely let me know because I am honestly so entertained making these. It's so much fun. But anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and definitely leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.